Okay, welcome back. So in the last video, we went and we put in all of our estimated costs and quantities in our recording budget. Now, now it's time to put our spreadsheet to work. But first of all, before we do that, I want to review some real basic stuff. I want to talk to you about calculations and how calculations are done in a spreadsheet. And so in order to do that, I'm actually going to switch over to this other worksheet over here so I can show you a few examples. Okay, we are going to talk about some basic math. Okay, don't worry, you're not going to have to do the math, but we're just going to talk about some basic math here. Um, calculations are uh, very, very easy for computers to do. Maybe not so easy for us, but really easy for computers to do. But we need to know how to enter those that information, or we need to know how to enter those commands into the computer or into the spreadsheet. All right. Fortunately, it makes it it's really, really easy. The number one thing you have to remember is you need to remember what symbol you have to type in order to signal to the spreadsheet, hey, I'm about to give you a calculation to do. I'm going to ask you to do a calculation. And that symbol is the equal sign. So what we do whenever we want to tell the spreadsheet, hey, I want you to do some math for me, we have to start by typing the equal sign. So I'm going to go ahead and start that right here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give an example right here. I'm going to put an example, so addition example okay and I'm going to just go ahead and resize that so it resizes okay and then right here I'm going to give an example of an addition calculation I'm going to start by just typing the equal sign now as soon as you type that equal sign all right the spreadsheet kind of shifts gears and goes oh you're not just giving me data anymore. You want me to do a calculation and it gets ready. I kind of like to think of the spreadsheet as getting kind of excited, right? The spreadsheet's like, all right, we're going to do some math. Yay. Remember the spreadsheet likes to do math. Okay. They're kind of weird that way. All right. So we've put in the equal sign. Now, all we need to do is we need to tell the spreadsheet what numbers we want to uh, we want to do the math with. And we're just, wanna, we're just going to start us with a simple addition example. Okay. Now, First rule is we're not going to put any spaces in here. Okay, we're going to keep things really nice and simple. Let's say we just wanted to get the uh, spreadsheet to add uh, the number four. Okay, whoops, I better move my cursor out of the way. The number four, and then we're just going to put the plus sign. Okay, and then let's just add the number, let the number eight. Okay, so I mean, I know how to do this in my head. Four plus eight is going to be 12, but let's see if the computer can do it. So I'm just, I've just put in equals four plus eight, and now I'm going to hit the enter or the return key. And look at that, it figured it out for us 12. Now, um, I want to show you something. Let's click once on the cell. Okay, on B1, and we'll see something interesting here. Because now we start to see, you might have noticed here that we have this input line up here, but then we have the cell, the cell number is different. Okay, and this should kind of give you, this is your first clue as to what's going on under the hood in your spreadsheet. Okay, and again, this will be the same whether you're doing Microsoft Excel or Google Spreadsheets or LibreOffice or whatever. This is the same thing. Your cell, okay, will always show the results of whatever calculation um, that you've given it to do. Whereas the input line right up here, okay, shows you the formula, if you will, or the calculation or the instructions that you gave to the spreadsheet in order to get that, okay? Now you might be asking yourself, well, what if I change my mind? What if I don't want four plus eight? What if I want four plus seven, okay? Well, there's a couple ways to edit that. You can either click right in the input line Okay, and then just change this. Okay, another thing you can do is you can just double click inside here and double clicking inside a cell will open up that input line so that you can actually make your edits in there. Maybe we'll change that to four plus six and we'll hit enter. Okay, so that's how that works. Let's try a couple of other examples because, um, and I know if this seems easy to you, that's great. That's actually awesome because this means the rest of this is probably going to be really easy for you too. So let's go ahead and do that. Subtraction. Let's do some subtraction subtraction examples, okay? And here, I'm just going to double click that to make that uh, auto size. Let's do a subtraction example. What's the first uh, What's the first thing I need to type in here? I need to type an equal sign. That's right. And let's say we wanted to subtract, let's say we want to do 20 minus 3, okay? So we're just going to type 20 
minus three, and then we're just gonna hit return. There we go, got the answer for us, awesome. If we wanted to take a look and edit that, maybe we wanna change that to 19 minus three, we can do that, okay? And I'm just hitting enter at the end of this. Very important that you hit either enter or tab to get out of there, okay? Um, so let's see, uh, subtraction example, let's do, oh, let's step it up a notch. Let's do a multiplication example. Whoa, there we go, once again, I'm going to double click there. And let's just do, what do we start with? We start with the equal sign. Let's do three times four. Now, what do I do? What is the time symbol in a spreadsheet? And this is where you can't just do an X, okay? You need to use the asterisk or the star symbol, and that is shift eight. That's usually just shift eight, and that will give you the little asterisk or star symbol. And that is the computer symbol for multiplication. So three times, what do we say? Three times four? All right, so let's go ahead and hit that. And 12, that gave us the correct answer, fantastic. I know we're not asking it to do terribly fancy math, but that's fine, this is just an example. Finally, let's do a division example. So so division example right here. Once again, we're just going to start with that equal sign. And what do we want to decide, divide? Okay, how about we do 12 divided by 3? And exactly how do we do divided? There's no divided by key on my keyboard. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to use the slash key. And that is the slash key that is directly to the left of your right hand shift key okay it's right underneath typically on most keyboards it'll be right underneath the it'll be on the same key as the the question mark key okay um, so that is the key that you want and so what do we say 12 divided by 3 12 divided by 3 and that if I hit enter will give me the correct answer for all right so we now know how to do calculations so that we don't ever have to do math again in a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is going to do the math for us. In the next screencast, I'm going to show you how you can apply that in our budget by using formulas. And formulas are just basically combining what you know about calculations as well as what you know about identifying cells, okay? Remember Battleship? And putting that together to create these formulas to get the spreadsheet spreadsheet to do the hard work for you. And that's what we're going to do in the next screencast. So I will see you then.